Coming up in this video... Connor Walsh, what are you looking at? Oh, hey Courtney. I don't want this hey Courtney. Don't you have something to ask me? Um, ask you? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't act like you don't know. It's homecoming dance time and you're the quarterback. Remember this weekend's prom and then we're gonna have the final week of school before summer. Woo! I like school. Of course she likes school. Only nerds like school. I'm going to prom with Chad Martin. What about you? I'm going with the Connor Walsh. Who are you going with, Jane? Um, no one's asked me yet. In our day and age, you don't have to wait for a boy to ask you. You can ask them yourself. Oh, really? What if he says no? I don't know how to answer that question. I always get what I want. Maybe I should ask one then. Oh, well, why don't you ask Brady here? He doesn't have a date yet. Um, okay. Brady, uh, will, will you go to prom with me? <laughs> um, I was gonna ask someone else. What about you, Daniel? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm already going with, um, Colleen. Maybe if you do something about that mess of a hair. Well, looks aren't everything. Guys care more about personality. Yeah, right. Uh-oh, Courtney alert. Well, maybe just to prove you wrong, this summer I'll get my hair done and work on my look a little bit. Good luck with that, plain Jane. So far, Jane has been passed up for prom. She's still hoping someone will ask her. All right, that's it for today. See you next class. Dude, I don't know who I'm gonna ask to prom this year. You know what? I think I'm gonna take my chance with Courtney. Courtney? She's not gonna say yes. Every guy asks her. But I know the one thing more important to her than a guy. <laughs> what? What could that possibly be? Think about it. She wants to be prom queen. Okay, but isn't that just about the votes? No, it's about who's gonna be the prom king, the Rebels quarterback. Dude, that is brilliant. Who are you gonna ask? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. So, who are you going to prom with this year? N nobody's asked me yet. Mm, me neither. Oh, did I hear you two aren't going to prom? I'm going with Connor Walsh. Connor Walsh? Everybody wants to go with him. Mm, not me. Not everybody can go with Connor. There's only one of him to go around. Well, you got lucky for him to ask you this year. Luck has nothing to do with it. It's all about style and attitude. Oh, I never thought about it that way. Well, I have style. I don't know what style that is, but nerds don't get asked to prom. Well, there are more important things than looks, you know. Speaking of good looks, look who's here. What's up, girls? I'm right here. Of course. How could I forget my prom date this year? And don't you forget it. So anyway, Connor, I... what's up? Hello, ladies. He's taking me to prom. Yeah, I already know that. Speaking of prom, I'm ready to ask someone. Sorry, I already have a date. I wasn't going to ask you. I was thinking about someone else. Claire, would you like to go to prom with me? Uh, say yes, say yes. I'd love to. Great, yeah, awesome. Hey, maybe we should make it a double date. Oh, heck yeah, let's go. Yeah, everyone's going, except plain Jane. Oh, um, I didn't, I didn't want to go anyway. Hi, Mom. I'm just gonna go upstairs and study. Honey, what's wrong? Nothing. I didn't want to go to the prom anyway. Oh, honey, did no one ask you to the prom? Nobody. Not even Herbie Klinghoffer did. Some girls are late bloomers, and summer's about to start. Do you think that if I think positively, I'll bloom over the summer? You should always think positively. Sorry, I'm late. I just can never come to a place like this without being asked to dance by a bunch of guys. I wish my daughter had the same problem. What do you mean? Your daughter is a 
horrible. Well, apparently personality doesn't get you invited to the prom. Men are so superficial. She obviously hasn't learned the first rule of fishing. Fishing? What's that got to do with it? Well, the golden rule of fishing is if you want a prize catch, you've got to use the right lure. Oh, you always know what to do when it comes to men. What did you have in mind? Well, school is almost out for summer. What would it be like if she came back with a whole new image? You know, that could change her life forever. <laughs> well, just leave it to her Aunt Vivian. You're about to see a whole brand new Jane. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers. Jane, are you home? It's your favorite Aunt Vivian. Aunt Vivian, it's so good to see you. What's going on? Oh, Jane, your mom and I have a plan for you. Come sit down and we'll talk all about it. This summer, we're gonna give you a total transformation. Transformation? What's that? I heard the boys aren't asking you out and we feel it's time to bring out the real you. The real me? I thought this was the real me. You know, Jane, you're at the age where it's time to take you from the playground to the party. Yeah, I've never been to a party before. That sounds fun. And we're gonna give you a makeover from top to bottom and we're gonna start right here with these. I, I can't see. We're gonna ditch these glasses and get you some contact lenses. Jane's aunt wants to give her a makeover. Will that really improve her image? So you're finally interested in contact lenses now. Well, let's just take a look at those eyes. Now, let's see if you have astigmatism. Well, good news. Your report came back and you're the ideal candidate for corrective contact lenses. And I have a pair for you right here. And now it's time to get you some of those invisible braces. Ah, so you wanna to switch to invisible braces. We can do that. Well, first, we'll have to get those old ones off. All right. Uh, all right, well, that's a start. Now this side. There we go. Now let's take a look at those teeth. Uh, hmm, impressive. You know you had two years left on these braces, but your teeth are already straight. Are you sure you want those invisible braces? Cause your teeth are straight now. And then I'll bring you to my salon and personally take care of your hair and makeup. Okay, are you ready for the makeover of your dreams? This is the real you. <sighs> so, how do you like it? This is the real me. <laughs> how can I thank you enough? Oh, one last thing. I have a gift for you from my personal collection. <laughs> It is so good to be back. This is my year. Yeah, it is exciting. Did you see that new girl? New girl? Well, if she rates, I'll let her have lunch with us. Oh, she rates. She's absolutely gorgeous. Well, I could always use a number two. It's not like Connor is gonna ask her to homecoming or anything. <laughs> well, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about if Connor doesn't see her. Who is this girl? Where is she? Who cares what other people think? <laughs> uh, excuse me. Oh, hey Courtney. How do you know who I am? What, did you study the yearbook or something? No. 
I'm Jane. What makes you think that you can just transfer to this school and take my place? I'm number one around here, and I always will be. Until I graduate. I don't want to be number one. I just want to be friends. Can we be? Friends? I'm a very friendly person. That could work. As long as you follow my rules. That's okay with me. I just want to get along with everyone. Fine, but you have to sit at your own lunch table. Dude, homecoming's coming up. Yeah, I know. Who are you gonna ask? I don't know. Maybe Claire again. Yeah, I took Courtney to prom last year. We got king and queen, of course. You gonna ask Courtney? Yeah, that's what I... Who's that? Connor Walsh, what are you looking at? Oh, hey, Courtney. I don't want this hey, Courtney. Don't you have something to ask me? Um, ask you? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't act like you don't know. It's homecoming dance time, and you're the quarterback. Oh, it is that time of year. I was too focused on the homecoming game, not the dance. Well, now it's time to focus. Do you want to ask me here, or do you want to ask me in the hallway in front of everyone? You know what? That's a good choice. I don't want to ask you now. Fine. Meet me in the hallway by the cafeteria. Five minutes. Huh. Legendary Courtney. Courtney is expecting Connor to ask her to homecoming, but he hasn't popped the question yet. Hi. Hi. I'm Connor. Everybody knows who you are. I don't think we've met. Yeah, we have. I'm Jane. Well, you know, we have a homecoming game next weekend. And a dance. Yeah, I know. Do you think you might want to go with me? You? Connor Walsh are asking me to homecoming? I'd be honored to go to homecoming with you. I could think of nothing better. In this video, guys wouldn't pay attention to Jane until her aunt convinced her to get a head-to-toe makeover. Beauty is only skin deep. It's what's on the inside that ultimately matters. If you like this video, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to see all the new ones. Coming up in this video... Sweetie, that's my pet name for you. You're my little pigskin. Pigskin? You're calling me a pigskin? Sweetie, that's what footballs are made of. You're that important to me. Just like football. <laughs>